Hi, I'm Dr. Gabby Cora at the National Publicity Summit here with Getru Mache. Getru, thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's such a pleasure meeting you and seeing you in action and, and, and really listening to your story. So um, I know uh, there's many things that we're going to be talking about, but this is a very important time as we're approaching also the, the AIDS epidemic anniversary this year. So I'm so glad that you're going to be sharing your story with us. Thank you. Tell me, tell me a bit about what brings you in today with this <laughs> life mission of yours. Dr. Gabby, I started this project when I was 19. World Health came to our village in a helicopter, dropping flyers and condoms, educating people about HIV and AIDS, but half of the people in that village could not read. And it was so ineffective, people were picking up the papers and lighting their fires with it. So I approached them and wrote a play with an AIDS theme. And my mission at the time was to reach the rural woman in Zimbabwe. We found that the virus jumped from our cities to the rural areas in Zimbabwe because of colonialism, a lot of families don't live together. The men work in the cities, the wives and the children live in the villages. And we watched the virus jump from the city to the villages to the most disempowered woman on earth. So that became my mission and I wrote this play. The group was called Just for Women Theatre. We were five girls and we went to the most remote villages in Zimbabwe. And we would perform the play, it was entertaining, but it, it, it educated people. What was the play about? It was about AIDS. It was about how a virus can spread. Mm -hmm. So what I found was that because people were not educated, just trying to explain what a virus is was very, very difficult. How did you explain that to people who didn't even know what that particle meant? We had to use examples like in nature, when you see a piece of fruit rotting, that something has infected it and it will eventually die. So we had to illustrate how the virus was spreading in very creative ways. And what we would do after the performance is we would run workshops. And we got a lot of the material that was being distributed to be translated from English into Shona, which is our main language. Mm -hmm. We were very successful for a number of years until I left and went overseas to study. I went to the UK. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, the group disbanded after that. I see. So now if we fast track 22 years later, I'm now living in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. I had a friend who called me Christmas 2004. Oprah went to South Africa. And she spent Christmas with 50,000 AIDS orphans. Wow. She was standing on the soccer pitch full of children. And that year my parents had come to New Zealand for the first time. We were having Christmas lunch. And I watched this show and it all came back. It just reminded me of what I had left behind. So I had been writing my book, which is a spiritual memoir. It's my life story. It's the magical things that have happened in my life from when I left home. And I had a manuscript with about 900 pages. So it was poetry, short stories. And I decided to extract from that material my life story. Just one second then. We'll continue with you in just a moment and we'll revisit this life story in its magnificence. 